So let's face it, a beautiful lawn and garden takes a ton of time, effort, and resources, including water, to become a reality and to remain a reality. When you've worked hard to create the yard of your dreams, the last thing you want to do is let your hard work go to waste for want of water. So what if there's a way that you could keep the plants in your garden looking great and reduce both your water consumption and your monthly bills all at the same time? Wouldn't that be great? For a growing number of homeowners, rain barrels are becoming a great complement to their traditional irrigation systems for how they're watering the plants around their garden. Did you realize that the average home's roof sheds approximately 600 gallons of water in just one hour of moderate rainfall? And 80% of that is harvestable. That's a lot of water. To take advantage of this free natural resource, some homeowners install large capacity rainwater collectors. That's a larger project than we can tackle in a weekend, so today we'll focus on a simple rain barrel that just about anyone can build and may provide enough water to sustain your potted plants or a small flower garden. Keep in mind that collected rainwater should only be used to water the plants in your garden and should never be consumed unless properly filtered or tested for potability. When placing your barrels, make sure they're underneath or adjacent to the downspouts you intend to use as your primary sources of rainwater. Be sure your barrels aren't placed near septic surfaces, utility lines, or HVAC components. Don't leave any openings to the barrels uncovered. Doing so will give debris an opening to the storage system, and an uncovered rainwater barrel can also be a safety hazard to pets and children. Your rain barrel should have an overflow port that allows any excess rainwater to easily flow out of the system once the barrel is full. It's important to create a clear path for water to drain if the barrel fills beyond its capacity. To accomplish this, most homeowners will either layer pea gravel on the ground beneath the storage tanks or connect the overflow port to the underground drainage system previously being used. Whatever you do, you don't want to create any problems with water pooling next to your home's foundation. Just make sure that it drains freely away from your house. The materials that you'll need to construct a basic rain barrel include a 55-gallon water barrel or large garbage can with a lid, a spigot kit with a bulkhead fitting, mesh screen, waterproof silicon sealant, and PTFE thread seal tape. If your downspout needs to be diverted, you may also need materials for that. Once you've assembled your materials and tools, the first step is to prepare the barrel. Start by drilling a hole for your spigot about four inches up from the bottom of the barrel and another hole about two inches from the top. The lower hole will be where you'll fit your spigot, while the upper hole will serve as your overflow. Install the bulkhead fitting into the lower hole. Then install the spigot and get it oriented at the right angle. Next, seal your spigot and bulkhead with waterproof silicone sealant, making sure to let it dry for the recommended amount of time before exposing it to water. Finally, cut another hole on the back side of your barrel to accommodate your diverter and its bulkhead fitting. This will connect into your downspout. If you're using a trash can, you're going to want to cut a hole in the lid approximately the same shape as the downspout. You can trace the outline of the downspout on the lid and just use that as a cutting guide. So the last step is to place your barrels underneath or adjacent to your downspout so that the overflow port points away from your house. You can learn more about rain barrels and see examples of dozens of different systems at morningchores.com backslash rainwater dash harvesting. Well, I hope this video has helped you better understand the nuances of installing a rain barrel system. And as always, please check us out at wearexmark.com for more done in a weekend project ideas, as well as links to resources and information on different types of rain barrels. Until next time, here's to enjoying life outdoors. <laughs>